that hurts. It may be America's greatest bike ride, or maybe it's just the biggest. We had never heard of it until we watched Kara and Nate ride it in 2021. There is no right or wrong way to ride Ragbri, also known as the Register's annual Great Bicycle Ride across Iowa. Just do it. Old or young, solo, tandem, triplet, e-bike, roller skates, just do it. It's a blast. Oh, more tent camping. Wow, look at all of that, wow. Got something in his hands. This is not a race, it's a fun ride. You set your own pace, join up with others, or just ride for one day. It's kind of a have it your way event. The first day was hot and muggy, but we learned our first lesson of Ragbri. If you aren't a generator user, don't sign up for the RV parking area. It's noisy, and when it fills, you'll need to find another spot to park anyway. The second thing we learned is to leave at the crack of dawn. That's because it is typically very hot and muggy this time of year. We experienced that on day zero when we arrived but someone ordered some nice weather for us and we had an atypical week of moderate temperatures and winds. First day of Ragbri, we moved the van last night. And look at that glorious sunrise. Much cooler this morning. Yeah, it was too noisy back there with all those generators. Okay, I'm all packed up, and now my first stop is Anthon to meet up with John and switch riders. In order to have our van to sleep in each night, we split the ride. John took his road bike and rode the first part of each day. And I met him in the meetup town and took the second half. We got parking down here at the ball field. If you wanna follow them, they'll take you there. Thank you. Thank you. All along the way, there's little stops like this. Or over here, they're advertising ham egg and cheese sandwiches. This is a little community of Bronson. It's the first little town that you fly through. And then the crowd just, just goes on and on and on. Eight host communities are selected each year, one each for the beginning and end points, and six serving as overnight stops. In the past 49 years, the ride has passed through all 99 of Iowa's counties. 14 communities have served as the starting point and 12 have hosted the finish. The vehicle they had on the back of their bus or whatever it said, the Donner Party, we eat the slow ones. <laughs> My turn, I'm just gonna follow everybody else. <laughs> Ida Grove, here she comes. Uh oh, uh oh, is my seat okay? Oh. Seat's okay if you ask me. <laughs> okay. See you in a couple hours. Couple hours. Love you. Okay. At the beginning of the ride, riders traditionally dip the rear wheels of their bikes in the Missouri River, and at the end, they dip their front wheels in the Mississippi River. Hi. Each year, the route is selected in January, and details are released in March. Registration materials are mailed to participants. However, if you're not able to receive the packet because you're out of town like we were, they will hold it for you to pick up prior to the ride. Probably the hardest part was finding each other at the end of the day. 
Cellular is pretty much useless when 20,000 people descend on small towns and overwhelm their cell towers. Oh, so you eat it like that. There he goes. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of porta potties. John even scored us a spot under the tree. How cool is that? Sunrise on day two. I'd say half the people are gone. I'm gonna find a camp, there's a campground nearby where I think I can dump the tanks. And I'm gonna get some water, I'm gonna empty the trash, and gonna charge my battery. I'm buying a pickle. Yeah. Tell you what, though, I'm going to get this breakfast. This is Galba. G-A-L-V-A. Spending all the time wiring up. During Ragbri, food and drinks are available in campgrounds, churches, and restaurants, and along the route. Food sales serve as fundraisers for dozens of charities and nonprofits. Okay, I see him. He's right there. Let's see if he sees me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Having trouble getting off, John? <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I would be able to fully charge my battery each day, but it turned out not to be an issue. There are even vendors that will charge your batteries for a fee. But to cover all my bases, I brought John's battery as a backup. Each morning, I would plug them into our van and charge as I drove to the meetup city. I also drove with the generator running to increase the amperage. While riding, I left my assist in the lowest level of one. It meant a good workout for me and my battery would be able to make it 50 miles. Way to go. <laughs> hey. What's the most common question you get asked? Why doesn't it have a seat? Yeah, you're right, all that. It's great fun, it's great exercise. <laughs> Go Army. Go Navy, beat Army. Gohanas, when pigs fly. Oh, I hope not. How long have you been here? Oh, just a little bitty while. Oh. Where are we? Oh, uh, Pocahontas. There you go. Butt hurts. I should have worn my padded pants next time, tomorrow, and the day after.
camping spot on the third night. It was actually the best of all. Because only that generator, right? Only that generator. And it was pretty quiet. Courthouse is a, is this the, John, is this the capital of the uh, county, maybe? I don't know. county, this is the county seat. Pocahontas County. Uh, Pocahontas County seat, and there's the government building and a bunch of tent. The generators are starting to rev up. John wants to know why people aren't playing opera <laughs> as they ride their bikes. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do. I get tired of hearing that. <clears throat> Just the okay. flower duet uh, might be the greatest song ever written. Oh, okay. Mankind. Okay. I'll see you in West Bend. West Bend it is. First stop, day three. I don't even know Okay, the here, I'll watch the bike. So the consensus was the strawberry rhubarb is the greatest pie in the entire state of Iowa, said the chap from North Carolina. Bacon and tomato. So just how fast is the cycle is going? There you go. I'm not doing pie anymore. I'm just doing ice cream. And today, it's Thelma's mint double chocolate sandwich run out of mint first uh -oh. and cayenne uh -oh. chocolate chip. Yeah. How about uh, giving you some Marlo. Marlo. That's her grandmother. What? I'm, oh. <laughs> it's like trying to find an ant in an ant hill. Yeah. <laughs> it's just horrible. No, no, it's horrible. I brought John back to get a ice cream sandwich. So you really run out of cayenne chocolate chip? Yeah. Sounds weird. Well, on ride people here. Yeah, you're a bunch oh, of people riding across oh, the state of Iowa on bikes, you know? <laughs> 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 you're going to have Tide and ice cream you sell out, right? So what do you want? A mint double chocolate chip. I, I thought you'd stand that's the first thing you sell out of. <laughs> <laughs> so normally we would switch here, but I'm not going to ride the second half because I have to edit a video for Friday. And tomorrow is the 100 mile day and I'll be doing 50 and John will be doing 50. So that's what I'm doing today. Time for a car wash. You want me to get out and look? I think you got it made. Yeah, I think you got it made. Good. This thing is filthy. We found a county park that has a free dump. We're gonna shower dump our tanks and then they also have water right there a super nice elderly man in a golf cart saw us kind of driving up and down the street and he came over and he said do you need a spot he and we said yeah and he said follow me he took us right over to his property and it's in the shade great spot in the shade
talk to these two guys from Pennsylvania. They know where Corey is. <laughs> and I kind of challenged them to go in and get wet in the water. Someone over there just played Reveille and now they're playing the Star Spangled Banner. I guess they want everybody to get out of town. Uh, oh. <laughs> now it's Johnny Cash <laughs> singing the Ring of Fire. What did you say? It's about it's homage to bicycle seats. <sighs> She's not coming out. She's not coming out. Wednesday morning, 6.15, she's not coming out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> boys on their right. Boys happy. This is the road that Google has taken me down. You can't figure out where people are here. Thanks for finding me. Hey. This might actually be the quietest spot that we've had so far. Although last night was really good. But this is nice too. Good job, John. So I did about 50 miles and everybody always asks, how far can you go? Well, let's see what my battery says. Uh, four bars right there. Can you see it? I'm down one. We had a little bit of a tailwind part of the day. And for those people who say you don't get exercise on an e-bike, let's see what it, my exercise ring says, 92 minutes. Got a brisket, okay. Taking one for the team. I'm gonna try out this ice cream place here. It was cop recommended. Look at that. We call this the peppermint. It's good. It's got little peppermint bits in it. Awfully good looking farmer.
everybody's getting a later start this morning. <laughs> but we had a great spot here. Great spot. Maybe you'll see the baby deer again. Maybe I'll see, yep. Watch as it go. I'm uploading my video and then I will head out to the meetup town, but this is probably going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> So there it is. That is Debbie's perfect second vehicle. Tell me about the cabin next door. The cabin, um, I think the first person to come to this area from the east, from the, you know, the, the Atlantic coast, I don't know where he was from, and he built that cabin along the Shell Rock River, I don't know how far down, um, and he spent, I don't know how many years building it before he finally went back and got the rest of his family, his oh, wow. wife and children, and moved them here. And then a few years ago, they actually rescued the cabin from up along the river and moved it to town. Oh, that's nice. You yeah, got a have, really nice collection here. They have a, we have such a dedicated um, couple that really um, over, you know, oversees this. And they have put so much time and energy nice. into doing it. And I'm so grateful for them. I'm, I live in another little town about five miles from here. I'm not from this little town. But I think it's kind of a hidden gem. People just... For sure. Here, so, yeah. For sure. So, so what's the name of the guy that built the cabin? Uh, B. Lar is his last name. Maybe it's Jacob. Okay. See Thanks. How cool is this? He's so cool. Look better, feel better. Is he Floyd the barber? No, don't call me Floyd. No. Marble <laughs> dog. <laughs> Did the dog say when he sat on sandpaper? Oh, rough. Hey, Owen. You can carry Maggie. There she is. Wait, wait till she gets ready to turn the corner. There she comes. Welcome, Welcome to, to Charles City, City Debbie. Hey. Really nice man uh, said we could park in front of his house and we are but he has a dog that didn't get cleaned up after John stepped in it Ew. and now it's all over our rug found this little attachment in Canada and I know that Gardena I picked up Gardena parts before online I've also gotten them in New Zealand um, and they have them in Canada at the Canadian Tire Store so what you do is you can unscrew your sink faucet and then screw this in and then I ordered one of these slinky, I had to order this, I couldn't find this in Canada anywhere. So you screw the end of the hose and it needs to be a really thin hose because otherwise you won't have any water pressure. But what I'm attempting to do is clean that rug so we don't have to throw it away. And then this snaps on here like that. And then it also comes with this uh, spray, master, spray thing. Master blaster. John is going to have at it. It's also on this step and on the red and on John's shoes. So here, I'm gonna use my soap, my brush. Got that thing hooked up. Okay, you hold, you hold that part. There you go. This was a lifesaver. I have a lot of Gardena parts at home, so I used them a lot, but I love that you can just disconnect here and then unscrew it this uh -oh. <laughs> and put this back in perfect yay one of my goofy ideas worked out <laughs> voila running the rapids in cedar
River. Back. He forgot something. Pick you forgot. I was gonna say you forgot to kiss me. Oh. <laughs> it's always something. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Miles the longest. There we go. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna find John, we're gonna get out of here. Awesomest ride ever. Oh no no! I mean, there's a lot of up, just a lot of rolly, but it was beautiful. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was like you were in Oregon or something. It was really cool. If I had to characterize Ragbri, I would say it is as much about pie, pork chops, and parties as it is about cycling 465 miles amongst corn, soybeans, and pig farms. The small towns were welcoming and generous. The residents of host towns turned front yards into campgrounds, and everyone had a grand time. Would we do it again? Absolutely.
Edris's annual great bicycle ride across Iowa. And it was great. I'm towing this RV because it was parked in the street. <laughs> Not the greatest way to get it in your bike ride. Oh my gosh, can you imagine coming back and finding your RV gone?